Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Chosen. Do me a favor, like and subscribe and join the family. Don't do it for me, do it for Blue. Do me a favor, like and subscribe and join the family because I'm saying I would really appreciate it. But don't do it for me, do it for my dog Blue, who is in the cage right now, waiting to be fed. So this video today is consists of a barf diet. My own personal barf diet. Um, there's many different kind of barf diets. My diet for my dog is really consists of food that I know that she would eat if I just feed it alone. So everything you see right here, just basically things that she eat alone besides the ve the vegetables and stuff like that. But here you have ground beef, 90% lean, 10% fat. You have puppy chow. You have some hot dogs cut up. Um, you also have some drumsticks, um, so I'm going to add some starch in it too, add some white rice, and I'm also going to add some cereal, but this is not just any type of cereal, this is the oat, I forgot what it's called, but it's like the oatmeal cereal and stuff like that, so once they got raisins in it and it's actually healthy for you, and I'm going uh, to also add in the vegetables, I normally don't do it, and all my things but I noticed that she has been eating it so I started I started doing it but she won't eat this alone though so I have to mix it up so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna basically start off with the ground beef because it's what's gonna have everything sticks together so as soon as I can open this thing This right here. I'm gonna grab me some ground beef and I'm just gonna basically splat it around. So, this is my mixing bowl because I'm gonna be doing some for like three days. Three days. Um, when I do my barf diet, barf diet, I usually like doing it like this for some reason. That this ground beef is kind of different from the one that I usually use. By the way, I can't really separate it very good, but. I tried, I, I basically tried to fill the whole bottom, the entire bottom, with ground beef. But for some reason, that I don't like this type of ground beef. You know what I'm saying? But hey, I already bought it. I already bought it, so I'm gonna make it work. So a barf diet is really good for your dog because you can basically mash up a lot of things. People call it barf diet, but I call it jail food. Because it's basically what you would feed, what you would eat if you were, if you was in jail. You would basically mash up a lot of things together and to make up a good meal. Um, so, and it's very good if you're trying to feed your dog vegetables, because you can mash the vegetables in meat, in the meats, and all the meats, and the dog will look over it. Like, because if you feed it to the side, if just say if you put kibbles on the side the vegetables in the middle and drumsticks on the other side the dog will eat most likely eat the kibbles or the drumsticks and just leave the vegetables alone so which is why a barf diet or gel food diet um, is a great way to introduce these things to your dog because it really won't know what it is eating so it's very good, you know what I'm saying? And this can have, this can also pack weight on your dog too. If your dog is having a problem gaining weight. Um, but I would advise you to change your time schedule. Just say if you feed your dogs three times a day and they kind of like do not do not want to eat, kind of like switch it to two times a day, give them enough room to get hungry. So by the time that you actually, they, you actually do feed them. They are hungry enough to feed, to eat whatever food you give them. All right, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more and it's basically gonna be enough. Uh, like I said, I'm making some for three days. My dog, right now, ever since I started feeding my dog two times a day, my dog really been eating. So, she, I don't even think this is gonna last three days by the way she been eating. So, this is like, Two or three hot dogs cut into small dices. Just basically spread it over. Add some pork into it. 
not too much, but you know what I'm saying not too much. Too much of something can be bad, even if it's healthy. Too much of something could be bad. So, which is why I kind of split it up into different meats. Um, so now I'm gonna add in my drumsticks that I cut up earlier, which I cut up real bad. I was trying to cut it into like dice slices, but hey. You know what I'm saying I'm not really a butcher so and I also left the bones in there because the bones consist of um, minerals and a lot of healthy stuff that if the dog eat it it can help with the joints and the bones so I kind of leave these in here but I, I only feed the dog like one bone per meal so basically add these on top of here yeah, so this is what you want in your, in your barf, barf diet or junk food diet. So next, you're gonna get some rice. Throw the rice on top. Like I said, too much, too much of something is bad. So, you know what I'm saying, add a little starch on top. You don't wanna overdo it. You know what I'm saying, so. Like I said, um, also, cooked rice would be a little bit better because when the dog is, um, Pooping, pooping the food out, you will see grains of rice coming out because maybe the dog is not digesting it very well. So cooked food would be better, but because on my the schedule that I have, I'm not really able to sit down and cook food for the dog, cook rice for the dog every single time the dog hungry. So what I just do, I just add the cereal on top. And like I said, this cereal is very healthy. You as you can see, it got raisin, it got raisins in there. So you basically crush it and just spread it around. So next, I'm gonna add my mixed veggies in there. I have um, corn, peas, and potatoes and carrots. So this is the only way I can get I get my dog to actually eat vegetables. My dog is just like a kid. It is, they hate vegetables. Nah, for some reason, they hate vegetables. But I have been searching around and I read that vegetables is good for dogs. But like I say, it's not mandatory, but I just add it. So now what you're about to do is basically you're about to mash everything together. And it will, it will get kind of messy as you can see, but you mash everything together. It looked gross to, to the human, but actually it tastes good for dogs. I did this method last week for my dog, and I'm telling you, I ran to like, I already bought like $30, $40 worth of meat in a week for this dog. That's how much she she liked this right here, and I wish I would have found this method a lot earlier. And I, I get her to eat the vegetables. Basically, you just want to get in, make sure everything is mashed in together. So, if she want to eat the meat, she also got to eat the cereal. She also got to eat the peas. She also got to eat the rice. So, everything is stuck together, as you can see. This is what you want. So, she can't just pick whatever she want out. I'm saying, so you got to keep on mashing. Most people would like put the kibbles on top. Oh, I'm getting, getting messy. Most people would put the kibbles, kibbles on top of this right here and mash it together. But I, I don't really do that um, for certain reasons, for my own personal reason. I don't like doing that. Um, Cause I feel like sometimes I waste kibbles like that. So what I'm gonna do is basically, like I said, so she eats twice a day. So when it's time for her to eat, she be real, real hungry. So this is not enough for her. So you actually gotta feed that girl. I'm telling you, bro, she is like, you ever seen one of them skinny people that eats every single day, but don't, but don't gain weight? That's kind of like her, you know what I'm saying? So, all right, so this is basically the meal. And like I told you, I had one drumstick to give her uh, something to chew on. Uh, let me put everything that's left over. And 
into the fold. And last but not least, I add the dog food on top. And I usually add Dime and Bully Max, but since it's my night schedule, I really don't feed her Bully Max at night. And Dime, I ran out of Dime, so that's really it. So you guys, this is the Barf Diet. So not all Barf Diet have to look like this or have to consist of the type of food that I put inside of it. You can put whatever your dog like, just it could be potato chips. Like, if you're trying to put weight on your dog, you got to know that feeding your dogs everything that's healthy is not going to help, always going to help them gain weight because fat is cons is consists from, it's consists of starch and all type of food that's not healthy for you. So if your goal is to actually gain weight, for your dog to gain weight and stuff, you have to really go outside of your comfort zone actually feed the dog some things that dog is not supposed to be eating but like I said you gotta be careful though too much of something is always bad it could be good even if it's healthy for the dog too much of something it would always be bad for the dog so don't just feed your dog a poor diet always like I say consist of put some good healthy stuff in there but you also put some things in there that would build up fat that will give the dog fat so basically the pop diet is finished and now I'm finna just wash my hands and washing my hands and this is my kitchen excuse my kitchen but these things kind of get messy so and this is my dog plate the barf diet is under and the kibbles is on top. Most likely she's gonna eat, trying to eat around the kibbles, but she's gonna eventually get some kibbles into it too. All right, so you guys, I'm not actually gonna show you guys, I'm not actually gonna show you guys her eating it because like I said, it is nighttime and I am tired, but I'm gonna give her this dog food and then I'm gonna take her out for a walk and maybe maybe not i could probably come back and show you guys the finished plate but i gotta it's, it's, a, it's a high chance i might not but thank you for watching this video if you watch this video throughout the whole the, the whole left and if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and subscribe because i have plans for this channel even though we're a small channel right now i have plans for this channel within the next year or so so i really hope you guys are a part of the journey because i am really passionate about what i am doing thank you once again thank you for watching blue the pitbull channel don't forget to like and subscribe